tired this morning. Oh. Hey, look, there's a pig over there. Uh, we should probably eat that. I mean, anyway, spin the phone every single morning when you wake up. Hello, my name is Nitro Loot DX, and welcome to another episode of Nitro's World of Adventures. Every morning, I spin the bone for good luck, and this cow's butt is in my face. Which cow is it? We have two cows, Moo Moo and an unnamed cow for the moment, because last episode, Farmer Jenkins and I retrieved our cow back from the bandits. Thank you, Moo Moo, for giving us our milk, and the reason why we always milk the cows is no, not for a milkshake for the tea machine 6000 this machine gives us the best cup of tea possible i am an english and british dog therefore a good old cup of tea in the morning is exactly what i love and again if you are new here do make sure to leave a like and subscribe because today we're going on another crazy adventure but we do need to evolve this world we need to give it a little bit of love what is that strange thing over there? Kinda looks like a new bridge. Maybe it's Bill and Ted. Basically, they're stonemasons. Bricklayers, if you may add. Those guys we found building roads. Now, we always like to go fishing in the morning, collect our fish, which is awesome to be able to eat for our dinner later. And there we go. We're getting the hang of this, guys. We've got some raw cod and we what we do is we put the raw cod on the slab and then we're good to go on our adventure throughout the day i also have a best friend of mine that lives in my shed i know it's quite weird to say that he lives in my shed and his name is slimo he's a big walking lovely meatball of slime anyway so we've done our first things in the morning we've spun the bone on top of our bed we've now oh yes one more thing miss wolf i always forget about you every morning you guys in the comment section below can feature in our episode. So, Miss Wolf, thank you for bringing a brand new adopted dog for us to give away to one of the viewers today. So, this adopted dog has a pink collar on it. And actually, I'm not quite sure if that's quite pink. It's a little bit pink, but a little bit purple. Anyway, Miss Wolf, thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you bringing us our next adopted dog very, very soon. Down here is the dog nursery, where we take our dog to be looked after and wait patiently because you guys can feature on the adoption wall. Mr. Brandon kindly adopted this brand new dog. And the reason why Brandon got this dog adopted was because they put a positive comment in the comment section below and they have now named this dog so this dog will be featured forever in the adopted wall his name is called slinky so slinky the new adopted dog is going to be taken by a skin later at the end of the episode hello slimo in order for you to feature in the episode what do you need to do slimo close the door no like and follow and subscribe and write a positive comment with the name of the dog now anyway slimo this morning there is a bridge being built over there and this is a bit strange as well a new path because bill and ted we saved last episode and gave them back their stone we now have bill's spade with a well orchestrated layout of items flowers and all well isn't that wonderful we've got bill's spade and we can use this ourselves to create our very own pathways as well so we'll be able to actually create different pathways inside and outside this world which is quite cool so anyway, i'm looking for a crafting table i don't think my crafting table is in my house anymore maybe it's because you've moved it slimo hmm all right, well, I guess I'll just have to craft another thing. So we went into that chest there and we collected ourselves a brand new bit of wood. We've got a bit of crafting table and I think maybe the sensible place to place that crafting table would be outside over here. Now, with our crafting table, we will take our oak wood planks and we will build a mm, boat. Yes, a boat, because we're going to go visit that bridge over there and that might give us a good insight on what bill and ted are building next so in this let's play nitro's world of adventures what we're trying to do is build different areas for us to go to and most importantly if you've ever played theme park world we are trying to gain and build an ecosystem of villagers because villagers need to move in now get on the boat my friend 
perfect we're in the boat and now we're gonna set sail across towards this bridge so as i was saying hold on as i was saying why is the sun so oh i knew it it was gonna start raining oh now it's thundering oh look there's bill and ted bill and ted thank you so much guys for everything that you do it's raining so down i reckon that you should just go and run somewhere run get out hide these guys are tough as nails i absolutely hate the rain and i hate the cold but would you look at that guys these are building an absolute wonderful bridge for us to be able to go on our adventures and speaking about builds what is that tower over there we're gonna have to go check that out at one point but for now let's continue to go to farmer jenkins house because we actually need to get some resources to build slimo's home you see i've been talking with slimo and he doesn't really like living in the shed that much he wants to upgrade and have his very own nice little house and i think he's definitely earned it after being captured by those bandits and that goes back to my explanation of saying that we need to build this world just like that right there that house is being built as we can speak and we can also see that the world is evolving every single episode which is awesome that's why this let's play adventure will be a great one for you to be a part of so hopefully by now you've given a like and a comment and subscribed now slimer get out of that boat let's go ahead and see if we can find farmer jenkins oh hello farmer jenkins i was just about to shout very loudly for your name we would very much like some resources for slimo's future house oh you knew that already did slimo come and ask for resources then he did right what would you like us to do in return of your resources oh he's gonna show us slimo you'd like us to build another area of your farm so each episode slimo we keep having to go back to farmer jenkins we built that chicken coop before and now what would it you want us to build a what a pigsty and this is what it turned out to be look at all the chickens that have turned up slimo 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 oh you made me think that you ran away there for a second look he's so excited farmer jenkins at the fact that we built this amazing area for the chickens now you put a chest out here for us for what reason again oh yes to build the pigsty well what else would you like us to do why don't we hmm build a temporary pigsty and then we can adapt it and we can make more pigs after time do you even have any pigs because i saw a pig outside my house i did thank you very much for the axe thank you very much for everything all the stone and all of that dark oak wood i don't think building everything out of dark oak wood is always the best but we'll figure it out and slimo there you go there's some extra fences for you so this time farmer jenkins you actually have both of us building all these amazing contraptions and your farm is going to extend and get a lot bigger as well all right so let's use the cobblestone stairs as a marker point while slimo goes around oh god the thunder and the lightning yeah as a marker point to build around then let's break the dirt actually i'll use bill's spade because look how amazing that is take the dirt and we will use some dark oak wood in order to place down for the floor and um basically we have ourselves a massive little i don't really know why i said massive and little in the same sentence but we've got ourselves a pigsty for the pigs but I only think one or two pigs can fit on here. So take all of this dark wood. There you go. We've got more now. That's why I was getting confused. Because you stopped building fences, Slimo. Yeah, you're completely getting me confused over here. All right, then. Let's break this area here. Or actually, we could just build on top of the dirt. That's what we'll do. All righty. Now you'll notice that the fence area is given a little bit of room for the pigs to run around. This bit here... I think we should probably break so that maybe when the rain fills up that'll fill some water as well as the water buckets we can use in here to allow them to drink 
and that will help these guys out as well it's really important guys that when you build a farm you make sure that there's an area for the animals to drink water a lot of those guys and a lot of builders out there isn't that right but farmer jack is the, the fence is oh, okay I, got, I managed to grab them <laughs> yeah no uh what was i saying yeah a lot of the other builds out there don't actually put water for the animals and do you know really it is actually important to have water otherwise the animals won't be able to live and they won't be very healthy um and also since it's raining we don't want the animals to actually get hypothermia and that is actually linked to the cold now when you're wet and you are damp you can get hypothermia which is very very bad and the reason why it's bad is because when you're cold your body temperature will be freezing and you won't be able to live in cold temperature it's not healthy at all so that's why we're building this roof made a couple of mistakes here we'll fix that up really easy by using our axe and we'll put some more dark oak wood right there and that way we have an absolute perfect area for the pigs to be able to live now we, what you'll see is we've actually used oak fences instead to give it a little bit more of a different color to sort of say well hey that's the fence area and this is the area that's holding up the contraption here as well so we seem to have built quite a nice little area to begin with and since it's thundering lightning we'll have to come and work on this a little bit better again another time and we'll make it a little bit i don't know evolved so that other farm animals could maybe live together and it'll be a lot cooler as well so we'll just chop this away so that he, farmer jenkins has a little bit more room and there you have it man we've saved a few of the fences for another time it's extremely important to save and keep as many resources as you possibly can you don't want to waste anything because that would be bad as well you don't want to like every single bit of wood guys comes from trees and it's extremely important that when you chop down a tree you should probably replant another seed in the ground so that you have more trees to reuse because your houses are going to get bigger and better over time so anyway farmer jenkins there we have it he's brought the pig from outside my house i told you didn't i there we go and there as well you now have your pig sty it will evolve like i said over time so don't worry drag that pig in we do need some resources for Slimo. All right, there we go. He's putting it in. The pig is now in. Oh, there we go. Lash him onto there. And he's one happy little pig. He's tried to actually, maybe or not, he's just tried to escape and jump away. Well, I'm pretty proud of this little build here. And if we do need to build some more farm things, we'll also adapt that over time. A Slimo might be able to come over. Oh, God. Might be able to come over and help you build some extra little bits as well. Um, oh, I'm being thrown all of those things to be able to put back in the chest. All right. Thank you very much for the fences, Slimo. Let's put some extra goodies in here. And I've also put a couple of extra resources as well. But thank you so much everything that you do farmer jenkins i'll be sure to collect some eggs later for my tea oh you slapped him in the face he's uh i guess that's a nice gesture of you saying thank you all right Flymo, where are we going now boy have we got all the resources i think maybe farmer jenkins has left the resources at our house while he went to go get the pig we'll have to see i'm sure he would never let us down now there seems to be a different way in that general direction and i'm sure we'll explore that as well at a different point and we do need to take some of the crops because they are overgrowing and it's also important to make sure that you don't leave your crops to, to spoil we probably need to chop that tree out in the road as well that's looking a little bit weird in the middle of the road uh, or the pathway now bill and ted they actually built these pathways if you didn't know i like to tell everybody everything as we like to go on our adventure because bill and ted have been working on in this world and making it evolve and making it sharper over time as well so it connects to their main road and they've actually added different lights on this road as well so we also have a uh, another area called the birchwood farm and we've got another area down here which is where we found bill and ted and the bandit you remember on episode two kidnapped limo and took our other cow around about this location so all these places being interconnected is actually a really good example 
on why roads are really important. Now, Bill and Ted have been working on this bridge. Hello, Bill and Ted. How's it going? I didn't think that you would have stuck it out in the rain. What, you guys have to build all day and all night? Well, I guess it's a part of being a mason that you don't care on how and what the weather's like. I swear that when it's raining, you can't build with the bricks because it would slide off on the muck. No. Well, you must have a little, little secret that I must need to know about. Maybe you could end up extending our house in the future. We do need to build our house. So me and Slimo are going to be off. You guys continue doing your great work. And it's an absolute pleasure to have you in Nitro's World of Adventures. Slimo, we are very, very, very grateful, aren't we? About all the helping hands that we have up in this world at the moment. Look, our pathway as well connects to the road. Which gives a great indication that we actually live down here. And that means that we could probably end up having post soon. I haven't had post in a very, very long time. Because back when I was originally living here, there was barely any trees. There was barely any nasties. And I have seen a lot more nasties coming out to play. So we might need some armor and some swords on the ready to be able to defeat any nasty around this area. All right. So it looks like Farmer Jenkins is on his way to be delivering the items and resources we need in order to improve and build Slimo's home. Slimo, right now, I think it's a bit unfair to say if we need to look for the resources. I do believe, oh God, he is actually on his way probably tomorrow. So that being said, why don't you go to bed and we'll continue building your wonderful home tomorrow. There you go. Good night, Slimo. Yes, good night. Close the door and sleep tight. All right. So, what else do I do? What else? I'm thinking there was one thing I keep forgetting. Oh, yes, the doorbell. Hello. You're here to pick the adopted dog up. So, you guys out there, if you've commented a name of a dog and you've liked and subscribed, you could feature in our next Let's Play Nitro World of Adventures. So anyway, my friend, down here is a wonderful dog called Slinky. And she is great. You could take Slinky on a grand adventure. And you could take her back to your home and make sure to look after her. Thank you so much for taking Slinky and adopting her. This is absolutely a wonderful. Brandon, your dog... Slinky is now going on a lovely life and I'll hope to see Slinky again soon. Thank you so much for liking and watching the video. Have a good one. Bye!